Get them for like 2020, 2001 to 2005, uh, 2005, but 2005. Mm -hmm. Miss experience people are not that demand. Well, I can't even remember when I was in high school, I was young, right? Because I remember I signed it, I was like, hey boy, you need to go to G League, I remember when I was young. Then, come care of my own, so you've been a boy, Trevor Kills, what I'm in Tanya, I'm in the union, I'm in the union, I'm in the union. Dallas, you had a great, you got a good time over there in Dallas. Mm -hmm. Because Dallas being for the mega, accepting that you're bugging in the solo, you're going to play like that. 
Like, 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 Mm-hmm. get signed by another team. But when they had the last time, it was a good time, man. I mean, I played with, like, I mean, Dirk made it so easy for me because he was a right. like, one of the best teammates I ever had, right? Take me under his wing, help me. And Dallas was just a good time. We had a good team. I mean, we lost, you know, tough loss. You know, I man, you know, 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 you we had a good team. We had a record. We won 67 games with like 67 and 15. I put them premier round loss against Golden State. It was some good time and some tough time too. But at the end of the day, like I really enjoyed Dallas. Like I love. I still have my house there. I'm like Kukur Balegi. I mean, Dallas was was definitely a good time in my career. I can I can tell I can relate. Because I love being like Jeff Morgan expressed it and I would be a guy who wants to do who when I come on your phone, but I can't basket the other quick buggy. Then think I have Mr. Talent and quick valerize, then quick buggy. No one go produce them. And I like that. And after thinking them that transition on New Jersey, the Nets for one year. Right. Yeah, man, that's that's more so uh no, I'm just my wife. I do trauma because I got traded in February and I was going to be a free agent. I'm up at a free agent line. I was a free agent. I'm for the third trauma. I'm for my senior one Dallas. I was in a trade for Jason Kidd. My name is Devin Harris. I already went to Dallas. Mm-hmm. Then I played. I mean, went to New Jersey. Sorry, I played. The money free agent. I played Silat Delwat. Silat Delwat Dallas. Senior one Dallas. I'm like a free agent. That's why. That's why. Senior one Dallas. Them shout out. We need more and more cool, was it? Right, right. Charlotte was good too, man. Charlotte, man. Charlotte, we were young. We had a young team. Like, you know, I they know. was trying to rebuild it. We had a lot of guys. Like, so it's not actually like Kimball Walker, they like, rookie at like, Jerry Henderson. We had a really young team. And it was a rebuilding process. But I was I was kind of a veteran there. So I'm not going to be. And um, it's funny because I kept, that's not, I believe I'm not a lot of boy. I'm glad you're Kimball. I just thought that I'd take the Kimball like two cool days. Guys. Like, yeah, yeah, good guys. Yeah, good guys. You know what I mean? You build a relationship with a veteran and kind of show them the way. Come in a veteran and you know, one of your and you build a relationship with those guys and still stay in contact with them. But you're going to go to Jahal, you're going to go to Jahal, you're going to go to 2013, you're going to go to Cleveland. But after the season, you're going to go to the season, you know, you decided like to, to not finish it. Or right. like, whatever is behind. Right. They won one, like you just wanted to, like, you know, I say. I mean, I, I okay. had, like, because from 2011, like, I tore some Achilles, right? I tore my Achilles yeah. from the tunnel that's with Lago Dago. After that, was, that was a lack of year, right? That summer, like, I didn't get to rehab. Rehab, we won't go back. Summer, thank you, be hammer. Mm-hmm. I put on some weight. The moment, yeah. Before that, some of the journey don't quite have met me. But my last year, I had knees problem, right? My knees was hurting. I couldn't really get healthy. Then, mm-hmm. So when I came free agent, I played. When, when I was a free agent, that's when uh, Cleveland uh, signed me mm-hmm. to come to training camp. Mm-hmm. And I went to training camp, but I just wasn't healthy. Like My knees was bad. I couldn't move. And I was in a lot of pain. That's when I decided to retire. Because being a retiree, so what, what moment can you take like from the NBA by the time point? The moment that you get your crap, like for example, your point being a family during a life career between 2001 but 2014. Moment you, your moment you, you good, you have like a mochi, a game more and knock it again. Advice because you're a boy, you have the book in the NBA. I mean, the, I have, you know, like come along and live a life, right? It's going to be good and bad times. Yeah. yeah. The good times is like getting drafted. That's good. That's yeah. an honor, right? I mean, getting drafted the first round, eight pick. I feel you, you, I'm a, them Dallas, and they had a great team. You remember, uh, final, even though Kenya wouldn't, Kenya wouldn't much be, I mean, Kenya wouldn't final be we lost, but we had a good time and we had a chance to win it. Got a good team in Dallas, Kenya ain't much be buddy, you know what I'm saying? The member of them in Charlotte, even though we wasn't like, Kenya okay, women won matches, the new gym, but the relationship you build with guys, right, goes a long way. Like, I come to my son, but they can make one boy, yep. Just those are good times. I mean, the bad times, just sometimes when you go to injuries, 
it's tough. Mm -hmm. so, like, comes I want to tore my Achilles. Yeah. I had my knees. And those, like, kind of lonely moments. I'm a, you're more, you're more, I'm more, more tough times. You know? At a young age, when you come in and you think you're just going to come, then you know, in NBA, they come out just right away. Come they go to high school. It didn't work out that way. And at some point, come on, like, NBA, come on, boy, like, you got to find a niche, right? You got to find what you do. Whatever you do, be great at that. Mm -hmm. And I know, like, in high school, I score, I did this. But I realized, come on, like, at the young age, could even like that. Let me be a defensive stopper. Let me run. Let me set screen. Let me do those things and be great at that. And I knew that would keep me in the NBA, and I was able to be good at that. Come boy, it's called low life. Boy, you put it up because come in sign. You're making this GDP, right? Yeah. Boy, you make coach. You know what? I keep bluffing you on inside. They don't care if you come and score ten points. Like most likely, when you know then you move in your. First of all, you're probably going to be a practice player, right? They just want yes. somebody to get you in the practice field. Then when you get there, maybe Mungalen one Ben Afel Bohamne, that's what you do. That's what you're great at, which is like, when they may define, you know what I'm saying? They may rebound. I will run the wing. Come on, I feel you know you're a boy. Long ago, I said, there will be one guy in the floor, pull him on the box, they keep the build slowly, and maybe you can show him later, you can score. But there's nobody who's going to get called out from come NBA, apart from GDB. Then NBA, you know, come out to do it right away. There's no way. Because NBA, I'm not there's an equipment, I'm not even going to do it. We'll never forget that. 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 We'll The main thing, the question. When I go home, the new new the new the new so called day, go home like we really need that for you like to to give us those advice. And thank you, coach. And and thank you like where you are right now. Don't go so coaching career. One why like one more year demo pro. After demo pro, then get into another coaching. No, coaching is funny because my baby is here. Baby is here. I should always be like. Because I didn't go to college, whatever, and you no, know, they get them to meeting in NBA. They always do stuff during the season, like, like, prepare after retirement what you want to do. Because in sports, right, they get retire early. I mean, the latest, not the latest, but usually like by 35, 37, most people retire. And I came in the league at a young age, and my goal, because I'm a goal mom, what do the NBA was like to play 15 years in the league. I ended up playing 12, like I told you guys, and I stopped playing because of my knees. It was, you know, I was in too much pain, and I then felt like I was healthy enough to keep playing. And during the meeting, they used to tell us, like, find something you can, you know, stop it. I don't want to death quad for the but I didn't think about it. I mean, one thing for sure, I didn't know I didn't want to do was coaching. I used to always say, I don't know what I'm coaching, I'm doing it, because I didn't just coach you, I'm going to get to be the first one there and the last one to leave all day, every day, get ready for practice, the plan, practice, and you yep. I didn't want to do that. But what happened is, I retired from the retired at, at a young age, right? I retired at 31. I, retired, I was 31. I'm like, man, what am I going to do? I mean, the first couple of months was great. I was home, talk gale, yeah, ooh. I mean, them lifetime fitness, work out later, play basketball just to stay in shape. Take new bohale, new jangi, I feel you. I prevent the, then the more. Because the NBA, Bosnia is like, how much NBA is a routine, right? You travel, you get a big BG, if you get a big 82, 82 much, and see more. You're always on the go, right? Yeah. So I went from there to like nothing, the same home. And I was going crazy, right? <laughs> I'm like, man, I got to get out of the house. Because the I'm a, 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 I'm a,